So this is a video that offers so much of everything to everyone. That's the only way I can describe this area, actually. We've got a condo guide, a living guide, a shopping guide, a look at the area cinematic and US military history, as well as all the usual obscure and unusual things I go looking for when I explore. So in the words of the great Jim Thompson, let's explore Sapan Kwai. And by the way, that wasn't the Jim Thompson, that was Jim Thompson from Newcastle. Many years ago, this area was just farmland, jungle, banana plantations, rice paddies, and fields full of buffaloes grazing in the hot sun on the northern outskirts of the city. Sapankwai intersection was once a meeting place where rice farmers, buffalo traders, and slaughterhouse workers would meet up and do business. Running alongside Pahonyotin Road was a canal. It had a bridge going across it into Pradipat Road. This bridge was the original Sapan Kwai or Buffalo Bridge. And every evening there'd be herds of buffaloes going across it on their way to being bought, sold or slaughtered. Sapan Kwai is a bit behind the times compared to its trendier neighbours Ari and Chattuchak. Parts of it are frozen in the 60s and 70s. Old buildings, shops, architecture, back streets. Over the last 15 years, a lot of condos have been built around here. Some of them sitting alongside ghosts of the past along Pradipat Road, a place where US military once drunk, danced and got laid. On the corner here, the old Merry King's department store has long gone. It's been replaced by a brand new office building with flashing lights. I get the distinct impression that Sapan Kwai is finally moving with the times, but parts of it will always be stuck in the past, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Right behind me is the old Pahonyotin Rama Theatre that I was quite surprised to find still standing. Much like Prakanong, this area was once a movie-going hub. There were six cinemas around here, and all six, I assumed, had been long shut down and demolished. So when I walked down this soy, I was quite surprised to see the old Pahonyotin Rama Theatre still very much open and doing business, but not the kind of business you would normally associate with a cinema, let's just leave it at that. Allegedly, it's a bit of a gay cruising spot. Another one of those 1960s built cinemas around here was the Pridipat Theatre at the end of Soy 18. It was part of a street called Mystic Plaza and it's all been completely demolished. I'm standing at the spot where Soy 18 used to be and it's now a night market which I'm sure is just temporary and will also be raised to the ground to make way for probably another condo. The 
final cinema we're going to look at was arguably the most popular in the area, the New York Theatre. And it was in a street that was actually named after it. The street was called Long Nang, New York. And cinema was a centerpiece of a place where there were nightclubs, bars, restaurants, very trendy place to go in its heyday. Demolished in 2013, the land was left untouched for about seven years. First they were going to build a condo before they settled on Vimu Hospital just behind me here. In its final years it was well known for showing porno films and it was also the scene of a gruesome murder where a guy killed the girl he was out with on the first date. Not a very nice end to a cinema that probably had a lot of good memories for a lot of people. This is where they're going to be building a new BTS station in the future. It's on all the maps and it's called Senna Ruam. And you'll know they're going to build a station here because the columns have got some extra concrete reinforcement on them. That's where they put the station brackets and build the station upwards. So sometime in the future, you'll have another SkyTrain station in between Ari and Sapang Kwai. Well, if you're thinking of moving to the Sapan Kwai area, then congratulations, you've chosen a good area that has a lot to offer, as well as many condos to choose from. If you get a bit of deja vu watching this, then that's because I have featured some of these condos in a past video, albeit quite briefly. I'll also be giving you a guideline on the minimum monthly rental for these condos, and we're gonna start in Pradipat Road. Sapan Kwai is also a very well-known street food hub. From 5 p.m. every evening, this area comes alive with street food stalls on both sides of the road, and you can get anything you desire. So if you did decide to move to Sapan Kwai and you're into a bit of street food, then this will definitely blow the wind up your skirt.
So what goes on around Sapang Kwai once the sun goes down? Well, the night I went out, it was okay when I started walking, but it soon descended into a rainstorm. But I continued. I wanted to see what this place was like at night because in the 90s, this was a very popular nightlife destination. You had a place called Long Nang, New York, where there were clubs, bars, restaurants open late, a cinema as well. That's long gone. And I don't get any impression anymore that this is the place to come if you're looking for a wild night out. Although there are, you know, one or two bars and pubs scattered around. You can get a drink late at a hotel lobby as well along Pride Pat Road. If you're into a bit of cruising, there is the Pahon Theatre and a few male orientated massage places around there. But as I was walking in the rain that night, I saw a Sapang Kwai quite subdued. Not that exciting, but interesting all the same. Sapang Kwai became built up from the mid-1960s onwards and there's still quite a lot of odd and unusual architecture still standing. Some would say it's Art Deco inspired, some would say it's just drab and I can understand that, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Anyway, I found a little village where the buildings were clearly all designed by the same architect. It's on its last legs, there's only a few businesses left, so I'm going to go take a few shots and then play them back to a piece of music. This is the Klong Bang Su, and if there was ever a league table of Bangkok canals, then I'm pretty sure this canal would be hovering around the relegation zone pretty much all the time. It hasn't got a great reputation. It's usually pretty filthy, and the flood prevention wall on one side has actually crumbled or worn away. So there's a bit of work to be done here. This flows from the Chao Phya River to the Klong Lad Prao. Thank you. 
So time for a bit of exploring around here and the main road in Sapan Kwai is Pradipat Road. What we're going to do is go to the beginning of Pradipat Road at the junction of Rama 5 Road. So Pradipat Road starts right here at the Sapandeng intersection. We're actually in Dusit district now, which shows how far away we are. And Sapandeng is a bridge that goes over the Klong Prem Prachakon Canal. That is a canal we are familiar with on this channel, which you've seen all the videos. There is a branch of the canal that goes off and forms a moat around the barracks of the 1st Field Artillery Regiment of the King's Guard. So we're going to go back past that along Pradipat Road towards Sapan Kwai and along the way, we don't know what the hell we're gonna find. Above me here at the level crossing are two elevated structures that will carry future red line trains on extensions. I think we're at least a decade away from those being in service. Interesting bit of architecture here on this red brick building. There's a plaque on the wall outside the gate which reads that it was built in 1982, designed by award-winning contemporary architect Ong Art Satrapun. His other famous work includes the Elephant Tower at Ratchayotun and the Toshiba headquarters building in Chattachak. So it's no wonder he's won awards. I mean, that stuff is pretty unique and awesome if I could use that word. Anyway, it's undergoing renovation and it's also up for sale. I'm tempted to call a number and ask them how much they want for this building, but I'd just be wasting their time. So maybe one of you could call up the number and find out and leave it in the comments. Further down Pradipat Road, you come to several three-star hotels, some interesting looking places to eat and drink. The one I do recommend is Camping Ground, and part of it sits on the old compound that was Seri Court, a US military barracks during the Vietnam War, and some of the buildings are still there. I went a couple of days ago and had a look round. During the Vietnam War, US military personnel were stationed at Seri Court, a barracks situated along Pradipat Road between Soyuz 12 and 14. Now I've come today not expecting to find any of the buildings still standing, but pleasantly surprised to see, well structurally, that all three buildings are still there and I've been granted access to go in and take a few photos.
During this time when the US military were here at Serry Court, there were also officers stationed at the nearby Capitol Hotel along Parhanyotin Road, and that hotel is still very much alive and well. So what's the shopping like around Sapan Kwai? Well, two words come to mind, interesting and independent. Don't expect to find any big brand names around here because there aren't no shopping malls, I'm very glad to say. There is a big sea, but that doesn't really count, does it? Anyway, let's have a quick look round. Well, that was Safan Kwai. I've been trying to come here for a couple of months now, and finally I've done it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment if you want to support me and the channel. You can do so via the Buy Me a Coffee link on the screen. There's also links to PayPal and Kofi in the description. That just leaves me to say thanks very much, and I'll see you very soon for another obscure video.